Okay, so I have shaded and got done with this uh, shading part. So now it looks like this. And uh, I used the smudge tool to make it look like it has fur here, here on the chest, for an example. Um, so now we're gonna light this, but first I see I have done, forgot to do something. Up here I forgot to... this up there because there's bone there and uh, yeah. now I ruined the shading in the eye I'm so stupid There we go. <clears throat> so now lighting. I have shaded with a dark pink. So we're gonna light with a dark pink as well. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but um, uh, it depends on what we're gonna have in the background. Since I am lazy and just gonna do a transparent, maybe a transparent background, which I will I will do as transparent background. Therefore, I'm gonna light with a light pink color. So I put this layer to screen, and then I can use the regular brush tool and like light up places like here on the nose and on the cheeks here and under there and there and above here, which is fur, fur and fur, and more and more and more fur. <clears throat> and we use the smudge tool to like soften the strokes. So they look kind of better. I am <clears throat> going to do a small background tutorial, I just decided. So I'm not going to do this transparent, so I'm just going to pause it here and come back when I'm done lighting. Yeah, so now I have lighted this, and if I remove this, it looks like this. Then you see that the lighting here is quite strong, so we turn down the opacity to 20 if it's here. Now you see it looks like this. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna delete that layer, and now we can go to doing the background. So I'm just going to do a very quick background, very pinkish one, like this, 
uh, where this darkness comes from under there. We have above here light layer. Gonna name that. Gonna put it to uh, not light and soft light and then we'll since Photoshop has a lot of brushes I can just go here since I'm lazy just press a shaped brush and like make glitter and stuff and yeah overlay layers are smart and um, use the dodge tool this dodge tool here you can adjust stuff up there you can make them you can light up stuff like if i'm gonna light that piece background so we will do a random background like this and save and um, just for some extra stuff I'm going to add another multiply layer no not multiply but not light and kiss yeah never mind about that layer so now we can just say that we are done, but if you want, just if you want, you can add a layer above the line art layer and color the lines with a light color like white to just show where the light comes from. Then using that kind of brush is kind of stupid. So if I like go with pink on the edges here yeah like um, like this not on the eyes so if I do this put the opacity down and uh, my phone rang if you hear that and that was awkward <laughs> and then you kind of blur a little and uh, put it to a low opacity and then yeah so here we have your picture and uh, for lightning and stuff lighting i mean so I hope this tutorial helped and I hope you have fun using Photoshop and find out new stuff that I maybe haven't shown to this tutorial. Um, I hope you understood um, this and if you don't underst understood and you have a few questions, please send me a personal message on YouTube or if you're stalking my Demon Art, you can send me a note there asking a little bit about this. Um, oh, if you ask about how I got Photoshop, then I got, I won't link you where I got this Photoshop version. This Photoshop ver version, CS2, is now available free for free on Adobe, uh, as I have understood right, by Adobe, so you can get uh, this version free, but you can't get any, any new versions like CS3, 4, 5, or 6 for free. Uh, because this version here, CS2, is getting a bit old, so they give it for free. But anyway, I hope you understood. Um, uh, yeah, hope you enjoy using Photoshop and um, good luck with it. See you.